Michelle, how important has corporate hospitality been to Cowsweek? Corporate sailing activity at Cowsweek's increased over recent years as companies look at more engaging ways that they can entertain clients. Our supporting sponsors for Cows Week have very different objectives relative to their involvement with the event, which is kind of testament to the versatility of, of Cows Week from a um, sponsorship property point of view, which is, which is great. Yes, some of them definitely do use corporate hospitality um, and use the event to entertain clients and you know, business um, colleagues and the media. Some just use it as an opportunity to get brand exposure, business exposure, and, and do that through their association with the event. So that's good from an event point of view because it um, provides us, you know, our fundamental to our strategy is making the event inclusive. Lots of people get involved with sailing through corporate sailing days at events like Cows Week. So it kind of supports our inclusive approach for the event. And also it's great for the town, you know, it brings additional people to Cows and therefore that's good for the businesses. Cows Week's fantastic from the point of view that, you know, um, just comparing it with other major sporting events, where else could you compete alongside Olympic world champions and actually be in with a chance of, of beating them? Um, other sporting events you can, you can watch and enjoy, which you can absolutely do at Cows Week if you're not interested in getting involved in the racing action. But, you know, to, to where else would you be able to get involved in the competitive racing action? And, you know, so sailing's great from the point of view. It's, it's a team-based activity. There's a, a good sense of team spirit and working together. And that engenders good business relationships and provides business benefits that perhaps you wouldn't get if you were in a box or, or watching, watching a game or a match somewhere. Was um, corporate hospitality an important factor for Scandia in their title sponsorship place? Um, during Scandia's sponsorship of Cows Week, they used the event extensively to uh, entertain and, and develop business relationships. Um, Scandia don't sell their financial products direct, therefore, you know, it's a great opportunity for them to build those relationships with the independent financial advisors who, who sell their products. And how many people would they bring down in a in a normal cows week? Um, typical cows week would see um, between two and two and a half thousand independent financial advisors being entertained during cows week. So yeah, it's pretty significant. Now in the past, um, uh, cows week limited hasn't directly organised or sold corporate hospitality packages and they've been supplied um, by um, specialist companies, you know, external to yourselves. Is that going to change in the future? Um, Cowswick Limited has never really um, got involved with the, the selling of corporate hospitality packages. We've worked closely with a number of third parties. Um, for example, Parallel Blue provided the sponsorship um, a program for Scandia for over 15 years, so they've been associated with the event. On Deck have been associated, they've been an official supplier of ours for the last 12 months or so, and we um, actively promote their rock up packages, which encourage people to come down and give it a try, which is great, again, for the um, promotion and development of sailing. Um, and uh, we were actually in the process of forming a, a partnership of, as a hospitality, official hospitality provider to Cowswick with EMG and Keith Prowse, mm -hmm. who are responding to market demand for more informal entry-level hospitality packages in a, in a sort of consumer and corporate market, and we're establishing a relationship with them around that. We don't have any plans at the current time to introduce a Cowswick Limited packaged offering um, for the mass market. Right, but what about the, I understand you, you are offering a couple of high-level corporate hospitality packages at the moment as part of your new sponsorship strategy. Yes, that's sort of a, a very different end, end of the spectrum and, and that's looking at the sort of the, the more high end and looking at some of the assets that we have at our disposal with you know, the member clubs of cows, combined clubs of prestigious clubs of cows that, that we can you know, look, at, look at offering packages around that. But that's, that's sort of not, not, not a mass market um, approach. It's, it's very sort of, you know... The VIP, the, the sort of top end of the market. Mm -hmm. And what sort of um, monies do, do companies spend on corporate hospitality these days? Um, it really varies depending on you know what, what people want to do, how many numbers, whether they want sort of a, an entry level package or the very high end. So it really does it really does vary. But I mean you know just comparing Cows Week with other major sporting events, 
the kind of cost per head is typically much, much lower than, than you'd see at other sporting events. So, you know, given current market conditions are a little bit challenging, so we're pretty well placed in that sort of market for a number of reasons. Uh, we talked before about um, the business benefits of corporate hospitality. You know, it's just not about entertaining. It's about the team building. It's about you know pr providing that sort of sense of teaming and so on, which is important from a business perspective. Um, from a, from a cost point of view, we're, we're well placed from that perspective too. Um, and you know, from f just from the figures we talked about that Scandia were entertaining, you can do it on a reasonably large scale too. Um, and just looking at the relationship that EMG and, and Keith Prowse have formed and are coming on board in an official capacity with us, just introducing that very entry level affordable package for the consumer and corporate market again puts us in a very strong position. Um, from a sponsorship point of view, um, we've got discussions ongoing still with a number of companies who are interested in the headline sponsorship. We had hoped um, to have that in place before the end of last year, but timescales invariably have a habit of slipping. Um, so we do have ongoing discussions, they are going well. However, in parallel to the ongoing title sponsorship discussions, um, we're actually taking to market a, a series of very high level sort of primary sponsorship packages is how we're positioning them um, to really just give us the best chance of maximising our revenues for the event this year. We are being very open with our discussions with ongoing headline sponsors sponsors so they know that's the approach we're taking and they're aware that you know the longer their decision making process takes that could have an impact on the package we're able to offer them in year one um, but these packages are only being offered on a one-year basis and also also I think it's important to add that obviously from a title sponsorship point of view the um, the, the the most amount of exposure you're going to get is, is through the naming rights, and that's absolutely sac sacrosanct. You know, we, we wouldn't do anything to, to, to compromise that. But, but that said, we absolutely have a budget plan in place that supports us in, in the event of not having a headline sponsor or sponsors um, to support the event. So, you know, from the point of view of Cows Week in 2010, absolutely business as usual, and it'll be another cracking event. Do you think the island offers good opportunities for corporate hospitality to providers and as a, as a venue for hospitality? I think the island's really well positioned for, for offering great hospitality solutions. It's a beautiful place. There's so much here. Um, that you know, bespoke hospitality packages can very easily be packaged up, um, depending on what objectives are. I think um, just obviously the Isle of Wight Music Festival springs to mind just because very, very popular event, highly sought after tickets, and therefore that's always going to be a good call. But there's you know, a huge amount to choose from. So easy to get to. I mean, the transport links from London linking in with the Red Funnel service is fantastic. Um, and also the, the fact that you have to travel across a stretch of water kind of gives the sense of getting away from it all, which is actually quite key to a, a good corporate hospitality package too.